We're now going to have a look to see if we can identify the saphenous nerve on the medial aspect of the lower leg, just proximal, 10 to 15 centimetres proximal to the medial malleolus here. Um, the key thing with this is that the saphenous nerve always sits with the saphenous vein, uh, and so that's what you're looking for. So you're going to pop your probe on uh, in this sort of position. Best to have the patient in, in slight sideline. And what I would suggest you do to start with is just find that medial aspect um, or anteromedial aspect, if you like, uh, border of the tibia. So we can see the nice bright white bone here of the, the tibia. Skeletal landmarks are always very useful in these instances to, to identify, first of all. If we then just track slightly more posterior, and at this point you're sitting, if we just widen our view here and drop the depth a little bit, uh, you're just sitting superficial and, well, superficial just to the soleus, which is here, coming through the most sort of medial aspect of the soleus, essentially. Uh, and you're also going to get the first part here of the medial gastroc. Okay, and you can see how far these muscles come round. It's always important when you're looking at pathology to look at all the way round through these structures. Now, if you just drop that a little bit more anterior, you'll see a very small venous structure. Uh, I'll use my cursor here, just sitting above them, okay? If I now reduce my depth, because we're less interested in the muscles at this point now, we can actually just see just there, there's a vein, and we can see that's a vein by compressing it. And just adjacent to it, you can see with the probe at certain angles, a really nicely identified echogenic structure. And that is your saphenous nerve. Now it sits on the anterior aspect or if you like or the more anterior aspect of that vein usually but it does vary from from person to person but you can see as we come up the leg keeping our pressure light that that structure remains constant adjacent to the saphenous vein now if we run all the way down very very slowly here and carefully again you can see me changing the angulation of my probe i'm trying to keep those structures centered for you you'll see a few branches will come off but you'll see it also starts to migrate. Here's the nerve here now. There's the vein. As we start to migrate down, it does start to come that little bit more anterior. I need a little bit more gel at this point. So pop back on again. We've now got the tibia here. Again, there's our vein. Here's our nerve. As we keep coming down, you start to see that actually it sits almost on top of the medial malleolus at this point. If you see my pro position here, I'm just now on the malleolus. There's the vein, and here's the nerve just sitting anterior. And then what happens is that then transitions across and drops down onto the dorsum of the foot over here, okay? And if you want to read further about this, the saphenous nerve does bifurcate about 10 to 15 centimeters proximal to the medial malleolus. And as you can see, there are various branches of the saphenous vein that pop off and join at various points as well. But in terms of you identifying where that nerve is, this is a good starting point. Mid shin, pop your probe on, find the tibia, roll back, there's your vein, and there's the nerve just sitting adjacent to it. And you can see it shining away there in that little pocket next to the vein.